what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and today i have a question from the chapter of electromagnetic induction so let us go through the question very quickly so there are two identical inductors like this connected in series and there is a capacitance c connected in parallel with one of the inductor okay there is a battery of emf e connected via a switch okay initially the capacitor was uncharged and after connecting the switch we need to find out the voltage across the capacitor at any time t very easy question so let's start solving it let me draw the diagram once again so there are two inductors connected in series via a switch and a battery of emf e okay there is a capacitor connected in parallel with one of the inductors let us turn on the switch okay just after connecting the switch let there be current i flowing in this direction and that i gets divided into i1 and i minus i1 okay so if you consider this as zero potential this will be e because in between them only the battery is available let me write down the polarities first okay so at any instant t uh, let me consider that there is q charge stored inside the capacitor okay now let us uh, write the potential equations considering one path as this one and one path is this one okay so here the potential is e then we go from here to here and in this way e minus l di divided by dt minus q divided by c equals to 0 so this is our first equation okay now if we go through this path directly the equation will be l di by dt minus l d dt times i minus i1 equals to 0 remember we need to find out the potential difference as a function of time across the capacitor so if at any time we can find out the charge inside the capacitor we can divide it by c so we will get the potential difference across the capacitor as a function of time so this is our idea here now from the second equation we can integrate it by just multiplying both sides with dt okay i minus i1 equals to 0 so et minus li minus l i minus i1 we have integrated it here so this gives us i as a function of time because we want to replace the i from the first equation so i will be 1 by 2 l e times t minus l into i1 means you just solve it and you will get this one let this be equation number 3 ok now let me write down equation number 1 once again e minus l d i d t minus q by c equals to 0 so let me put this i here and the new equation becomes l times 1 by 2 l mm, differentiating this part gives you e minus l d i 1 divided by d t minus q by c equals to 0 ok now if you just write it down uh, simplify it it gives you plus l by 2 d i 1 divided by d t minus q by c equals to 0 ok so l by 2 d i 1 divided by d t plus q by c I am sorry there will be a plus sign here and a negative sign here ok I did a mistake sorry so it will be l by 2 d i 1 d t plus q by c minus e by 2 equals to 0 ok now i 1 here is the current flowing through the capacitor at any instant t ok 
Now, we can write that I 1 is nothing but rate of change of the charge inside the capacitor. So, the equation can be further modified into plus q by c minus e by 2 equals to 0. Okay. So, now if we write this equation by taking 1 by c common from here that will be this one and uh, let me rephrase this equation once again q minus e c divided by 2 plus 2 divided by l c q minus e c by 2 equals to 0. Okay. So, if we again modify this equation and write it like this. So, we will get a familiar equation and we have already seen this equation in simple harmonic motion and we also know the solution ready made solution where omega square here is 2 by L c and uh, q prime is nothing but q minus E c by 2. So, the general solution here would be A sin omega t plus B cos omega t. Okay. And uh, let me write it here that I prime is nothing but d q prime d t that is nothing but d q d t okay. will be A omega cos omega t minus B omega sin omega t. So, these are the two required equations we need to uh, modify it by using the boundary conditions. So, what are the boundary conditions? that at t equals to 0 q will be 0 that is q prime must be equals to minus E c by 2 as there is no charge inside the capacitor. So, using this boundary condition in this one we get minus E c divided by 2 equals to 0 plus b. So, we got the value of b okay. and at t equals to 0 i is prime is also 0 because at t equals to 0 this inductor will act as an open circuit. So, there will be 0 potential difference across the capacitor. So, no charge stored inside the capacitor hence there will be no current also. Okay. So, i prime is equal to 0 using this in this equation we will give you 0 equals to a omega minus 0 that is a equals to 0. So, we got the values of the constants. Now, we can write our final solution here that q prime is nothing but minus E c by 2 cos omega t and you know q prime is nothing but q minus E c by 2 minus E c by 2 equals to minus E c by 2 cos omega t and q is equal to E c divided by 2 1 minus cos omega t and our final answer that is the potential difference across the capacitor is q by c that is E by 2 1 minus putting the value of omega that is root over 2 L c times t. So, this is our final answer. Okay. Uh, sorry for taking so much time of yours, but uh, this is how it is. I hope I was able to make you understand about this solution. Feel free to comment down below if you have any doubt. Okay. And I will be solving one question every day from this book. So, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.